Hey, this is Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. I'm sitting down because I am tired. I have been working on this thing around the clock for the past, I don't know, week. But the work in the jig is done. And we are ready to pull it out of the jig and put it in the rotisserie so we can flip it up on its side, finish up welding those uh, sill brackets inside, sill gussets, and then weld the sills on and do some of this welding. But check this out. The tail is all together. It's welded up. You kind of dip down and look up from the bottom. You can see that we've got the new boot floor, got the inner valances in here. Here's all my screws that are going to be pulled out and plug welded when it's in the rotisserie. And then if you look here, it, these jigs are just sitting there. They're not holding it anymore. In the earlier videos, you saw the vice grips and everything. But now this is just right here at this level. Doesn't matter as much on this car because we're gonna have that big aluminum wing coming over, but it's always nice to know you're in the right spot. And it, it's just springing back a little bit there. That's fine because we've taken a measurement of how far it wants to be. So that's good. And then over on this side, same deal. On this side, it's a little springy outward. So it, it's tight up against here. It wants to go that way, like another eighth of an inch. But again, we've taken a little measurement there and we'll set that when I'm filling this all in. But what we gotta do now is unbolt it. The tail jigs are just sitting there, but it is bolted down in these front and rear towers. And if you remember, it fit into the front towers and that left hand rear beautifully. And in here, you can go back in an earlier episode, I think it was part five where we aligned this. We had to pull that way and pull this way. And we put a shim in the roll cage here. Um, and when we had it all said and done, we were just right in this back corner here. It's just a tiny bit of gap here. And we had maybe a little more than a 16th here that we had to pull down with these bolts. And then way under here, we had an air gap here um, of about 30 thousandths, which is the thickness of a sheet of 20 gauge that, that also came down. So next we're gonna unbolt this and hope, fingers crossed, that it doesn't pop back up. But again, even if it does, we had it real, real close without any tension. So let's go ahead and unbolt it and see if all this welding in here and all of that has got her right back to where she needs to be. Hold on. All right, it's a moment of truth. I've taken out these two bolts here and they came right out like butter, no problem. The uh, shim is still wedged in there, which I suspect. So what I've got now is the bolt going up through the radius arm cup and then these four bolts on the tower. Now with the radius arm cup, I was surprised that I was able to get a bolt into it and I really cranked it down and kind of stretched the floor some when I put it in there. So I'm not gonna be shocked or upset that pops back up. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, see it's coming up some. Just cause like I said, I, I stretched the floor. Let's get this completely out of there. All right. And that's not too bad. I think I stretched it down a lot more than that. Come on. All right. All right. Now it is the moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. Actually, I'm gonna loosen these up first because the back was tight. All right, that one's just a little loose. That one's just a little loose. Let's get a little looser. That's finger tight. That's finger tight. All right, go ahead and zoom in here. Wow, that didn't even seem that tight back there. That was like not tight all the way. All right, why don't you come around here? 
because this will tell the tail right here. If this pops up, that's where it's gonna do it. Yeah, she's coming up. But not too bad. I think the fit is a little better than it was when we had it before. Let's see. Yeah, we've got our little air gap back in there. So I would say we're about the same as when we started. Maybe, maybe a little better because the shim is tighter. Yeah, that shim's a little tighter. So I think we can live with that. I think we can live with that. Again, don't look at the gap too big because it's supposed to have a 16 gauge shim in it. So we are about a 16th off there. I think that'll be all right. I think we can work with that. So actually let's look up here. This stuff is all still right where it was. So, you know, if that comes up, I was worried the whole tail would kind of do this, but no, it looks good. We're right where we were. Yeah. It's looking good. All right, time for the rotisserie. That's a lot of work. So we'll check up with you later. All right, she's now in the rotisserie. And step one is to finish the welding on everything we've done so far. So we got to pull out all of these little screws here and plug weld all these holes after we flip it over. And then I've got some more welding to do here. Remember, I just tacked the bottom of these. I got to do this full stitch weld down here on the bottom. I got to weld the bottom of these gussets down there. And then on the fronts, I've got to get up in here and do some welding. They're just kind of tacked up in the corners. So that's the next step. Flip it over and finish the welding on what we've done so far, and then we'll move on to some new things. All right, there it is flipped up. I figured you guys would love to see this shot. So this is what I got to finish up. You can see I've already done some spot welding here. I'm gonna pull these screws out, weld up all these holes um, here, and then I might grab at the spot welder here, do some more plug welds, I don't know. And then again, here's where I'm gonna finish out this. I'll weld this along here, and I'll just kind of tap this down some with a hammer. And then over here again, weld across the front. This is a little messy from the dissection that we did, but here I'll, I'll do some just some stitching in on the edge like that. But then I'll also drill holes here and put some plug welds in because having some welds along that face will make this stronger than just having this edge welded. So we wanna do both. And then actually this is a good view to show. These are the outside lock bonnet mounts. This isn't an outside lock car, but of course for racing purposes, they use those mounts. And you can see where they've kind of gotten pounded down in there and they've got these nut inserts. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna weld in a little reinforced plate here with nuts welded into it and uh, just strengthen that up for them there. So that's the deal. And we're gonna get to that. Here's the bottom of the car. Looks really good. Those are the original factory floors. And here's all those plug welds that I did up in there. And you can see what the bottom side looks like. These were not drilled, but I always make sure that I've got that little penetration lump. That shows me that I'm really getting that weld in there. There's some rust on a new factory floor that was under the primer. It's an aftermarket floor. I don't know how these guys do that, but we'll scuff that off. So that's what we're looking at. All right, now if you'll excuse me, I've got a couple hours or more of some welding to catch up on. Okay, I think I've finished welding up everything I need to do on this side. You can see I've got all these 
plug welds taken care of. And then over here, I've finished off these, turned these tacks into little beads. And you can see, this is why I wanted to flip it over before I finish this off. There's a lot of factors that go into a weld, be it a good weld, being able to see it and the angle and all that, and being able to get right up on this with the helmet um, and get a good look at it and also have gravity on your side will give you a real nice weld. And see there, you can see where I've used a combination of plug welds and some stitches to take care of this. And I've kind of wiped it off a little bit and I'll wipe it off some more. You can see how this, this uh, weld through kind of burns in. See, it's been wiped off here and up here, but it kind of burns in. So time to flip it over and do this on the other side. 